Welcome to the open road of nostalgia with Route 66, the 1960 TV series that took viewers on a cross-country journey, capturing the essence of America's vast landscapes and diverse characters. Have you ever pondered how a simple television show could leave an indelible mark on your life? prompting you to embark on your own adventures. Can you share a personal story of how this series has inspired or impacted your life? As we delve into the allure of Route 66, think back to your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this iconic show. Perhaps it fueled your wanderlust, instigating a road trip of your own, or maybe its characters and stories served as a compass during a pivotal moment in your life. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. But before we invite you to share, let's set the stage with some intriguing facts about Route 66. The series, known for its episodic format and exploration of societal issues, starred Martin Milner and George Maharis as two wanderers navigating the highways of America. Its unique concept, combining adventure with introspection, resonated with viewers and solidified its place in television history. Now, as you reminisce about the winding roads and captivating narratives of Route 66, feel free to share your own reflections. What impact did this TV series have on your life? and what enduring memories does it hold for you? We eagerly await your tales in the comments below. Author David Morrill, a fan of the series, found inspiration in the iconic 1960s show that traversed the American landscape. Route 66, known for its unique approach, had writers who embarked on cross-country journeys, seeking picturesque locations for every episode. Filming exclusively on location, the series showcased the diverse beauty of the United States. One standout episode left a lasting mark, featuring legendary actors Boris Karloff, Lon Chaney Jr., and Peter Laura. Notably, Karloff and Chaney reprised their iconic Universal Monsters roles after several decades, donning the Frankenstein monster and Wolfman makeup once again. This particular episode became a memorable highlight in the series' rich tapestry of stories. Route 66 Seconds' commitment to on-location filming and its exploration of American landscapes set it apart, providing viewers with a visual journey alongside the characters. The series' unique blend of storytelling and real-world settings contributed to its enduring legacy. In the dynamic world of 1960s television, Route 66 stood out not only for its on-location filming, but also for the intriguing casting decisions that could have reshaped the course of the series. As the show gained momentum, a relatively unknown Robert Redford vied for the role of Todd Stiles, but lost out to Martin Milner. Later, when George Maharis departed, Burt Reynolds and future Academy Award winner Robert Duvall were considered. Duval, though, was deemed not quite the fit, leading to the casting of Glenn Corbett. Beyond the casting drama, the series faced real-life challenges. Maharis, after enduring harsh conditions in episodes like Even Stones Have Eyes and There I Am, There I Always Am, fell seriously ill. Despite his perseverance, Maharis eventually had to leave due to hepatitis, leading to a legal tussle settled out of court. Corbett stepped in, and the character Buzz transitioned without further mention. These behind-the-scenes dynamics, intertwined with casting choices and health struggles, offer a fascinating glimpse into the complexities behind the scenes of a show that aimed to capture the essence of America through its on-the-road narrative. The original pilot of this series, initially featured as an episode of Naked City titled Four Sweet Corners, introduced George Maharis as Johnny Gary and Robert Morris as Link Ridgway. Unfortunately, Morris passed away before the series got picked up. This early glimpse into Route 66 showcased the series' roots in the urban drama Naked City, setting the stage for its unique narrative approach. As the series unfolded, the iconic Chevrolet Corvette became a recurring element, symbolizing the ever-changing nature of the characters' journeys. Sponsored by Chevrolet, the show swapped out Todd Styles' Corvette every 3,000 miles. The frequent changes never explained how Todd managed to secure a new Corvette each time adding an intriguing layer of continuity and sponsorship dynamics to the show's fabric. Designed essentially as an anthology, Route 66 maintained its core characters, Todd Stiles and Buzz Murdoch, throughout diverse stories. This narrative structure allowed the series to delve into different landscapes and scenarios while keeping a consistent thread of exploration and self-discovery. 
The anthology format, coupled with the ever-present Corvette, defined Route 66 Second's distinctive storytelling style. In the backdrop of casting decisions, Robert Redford's initial bid for Todd Stiles, and subsequent replacements like Glenn Corbett, the series faced real-life challenges. George Maharis, enduring harsh conditions on set, eventually had to leave due to hepatitis. This health setback led to a legal tussle, and Corbett stepping in seamlessly as Buzz Murdoch. These behind-the-scenes dynamics, coupled with the unique anthology approach and the enigmatic Corvette's role, provide a fascinating perspective on the complexities of a show aiming to capture the essence of America through its on-the-road narrative. In the realm of Route 66, the iconic Chevrolet Corvette, a symbol of constant change, took center stage. Contrary to popular belief, its color wasn't the iconic red many assume. In fact, the Corvette donned different hues across its seasons like blue, beige, and tan strategically chosen for optimal black and white photography. This subtle detail reflects the meticulous thought put into the show's visual elements. However, the series' geographical fidelity wasn't as steadfast as its Corvette rotations. Despite the name, Route 66 often ventured beyond the iconic route's confines. Episodes like Same Picture, Different Frame in Maine, and Come Out, Come Out, Wherever You Are in Vermont showcase the characters exploring areas far removed from the traditional Route 66 trajectory. This departure from the expected added an intriguing layer to the series, emphasizing the broader exploration of America's diverse landscapes. Interestingly, Route 66 faced its own form of satire in the pages of Mad Magazine, humorously rebranded as Route 67. This nod from the satirical realm speaks to the show's cultural impact, extending beyond the television screen into the realms of humor and pop culture. As the Corvette changed colors and the series ventured beyond Route 66 seconds literal path, it became clear that the show was more than a mere road trip. It was a visual journey exploring not just the iconic route, but also the varied landscapes and cultural nuances of the United States. The Searchers, initially considered as the title for the iconic TV series, faced dismissal due to concerns about potential confusion with a popular John Wayne Western. Instead, the show took on the name Route 66, embarking on a journey that transcended its literal path. As Todd Stiles and Buzz Murdoch cruised in their ever-changing Corvette, the series carved a unique niche, showcasing the diverse landscapes of the United States. However, its roots in literature stirred controversy, with Jack Kerouac claiming Route 66 drew inspiration from his book, On the Road. Amidst the On the Road adventures, one episode titled The Mud Nest revealed a surprising connection. Todd and Buzz, stranded in a small town, encountered locals who mistook Buzz for a Colby. The twist. The Colby family members were played by Buzz's actual siblings Paul, Harold, and Cleopatra Maharis. While the show's name may not have aligned with its trajectory, Route 66 Seconds cultural impact extended beyond the screen. In an era of color TV, the Corvette, donning varying hues strategically chosen for black and white photography, became an emblem of constant change. Whether venturing beyond Route 66 Seconds literal confines or facing satire in the pages of Mad Magazine as Route 67, the series transcended expectations. It wasn't merely a road trip, it was a visual journey exploring America's landscapes and cultural nuances. As we traverse the meandering highways of nostalgia, let the echoes of Route 66 linger in the corridors of your memories. The iconic TV series, A Timeless Odyssey Through the American Heartland, invites you to unlock the vaults of your own personal chronicles. Perhaps it's a flicker of a black and white recollection, a sepia-toned encounter with the characters who once danced on the edges of your imagination. Picture the open road stretching endlessly before you, the hum of engines harmonizing with the rhythm of life's uncertainties. As you reflect upon the journeys of Todd and Buzz, ponder the intersections where their stories intersected with yours. Did their adventures resonate with the twists and turns of your own narrative, or did the scenic landscapes trigger a cascade of your cherished reminiscences? In this boundless tapestry of experiences, we invite you to share the fragments of Route 66 that are etched into the fabric of your existence. Unearth the anecdotes that reverberate with the resonance of a classic tune, and let the dialogue flow like an old friend sharing tales by the fireside. Your narrative, like the TV series itself, is a testament to the enduring allure of exploration and self-discovery.
Thank you for embarking on this reflective journey with us, for allowing the essence of Route 66 to intertwine with your own story. As you unravel the threads of memory, remember that the road, both real and metaphorical, stretches ever forward. Until our paths cross again, happy trails and tales.